Good morning! It's me, Sandra. I'm so glad you're joining me today for School of the Rock. Did you see Cal and Emmett give our School of the Rock welcome this morning? Hi, Cal. Hi, Emmett. Thank you for doing our welcome. I miss you guys. You know, you might be wondering why I'm sitting here dressed like this with a life jacket on and holding a paddle. <laughs> well, do you like to go for boat rides? I know I sure do. And it doesn't matter if it's a canoe ride or a kayak or a motorboat or even a snooze cruise. I love being on the water. It's so much fun. I will admit though, there have been times while I was scared in a boat. One year in late spring, I went down the Bonnachere River through some rapids in a canoe with my daughter Sarah. Now these were not big rapids, but I don't have a lot of experience with rapids and I didn't steer us correctly into the first one. We ended up turning around backwards and going through the rapid backwards and also going through some low hanging tree branches. I was scared we were going to smash up the canoe and flip. In the end, we were fine. We got turned back around and we didn't flip and we didn't smash. That, however, was a scary boat ride for me. Now that boat ride was a little scary because I felt quite out of control of the canoe. But my scary boat ride was nothing compared to the boat ride the Apostle Paul experienced when he was on his way to Rome to face trial before the Roman Emperor Caesar. Paul's boat ride didn't end as well as my boat ride. And in fact, it ended up in a shipwreck. Even though Paul went through a shipwreck, he discovered God is encouraging. And that's our big idea for today. And because God is encouraging to us, we can be encouraging to others. Here's where our story fits into the Big God Story timeline. To find today's story in the Bible, you need to go to Acts chapter 27. Now the Bible is the Word of God and everything in the Bible is true and God uses the Bible to speak to us. So let's listen carefully to what he has to say. Paul was leaving to face trial in Rome before Caesar. He had said farewell to his friends. Paul had a long journey on a ship ahead of him. Paul had been arrested by the Romans and charged with causing trouble because he was a Christian. He had asked for his case to be heard in Rome. So off he went, guarded by Roman soldiers. Once the ship set sail, the wind began to blow strongly, forcing the captain to change course. At the port of Myra, they boarded an Egyptian ship bound for Italy. That's where Rome is located. And after several days of rough sailing, at last the port of Fair Havens in Crete came into sight. They sailed to the shelter of Fair Havens port and docked, where they rested for several days. As Fair Havens was a poor place to spend the winter, most of the crew wanted to try and go further around the coast to Phoenix to spend the winter there. Paul had warned them that there would be trouble if they went on, that they might lose cargo or even lives, but they didn't listen to him. Just then, a light wind began blowing from the south, so they pulled up the anchor and sailed along close to the shore. But then, a heavy wind of typhoon strength, known as a northeaster, blew the ship out to sea. They tried to turn back to the shore, but couldn't. So they gave up and let the wind carry the ship. They sailed behind a small island named Clauda, where they pulled aboard the lifeboat that was being towed behind them. They tied ropes around the ship to try and hold it together. Afraid that the ship would hit the sandbanks of the African coast, they lowered the sails and let the wind carry the ship. The next day, the seas grew higher and the crew began throwing the cargo overboard. The following day, they threw out the ship's equipment and anything else they could lay their hands on. The terrible storm raged on for many days until at last, they lost all hope of staying alive. 
Then one day Paul called the crew together and said, Men, you should have listened to me and we would not have all this trouble and loss. But cheer up. An angel visited me last night and said that none of us will die, even though the ship will go down. God told me, don't be afraid, Paul, for you will stand trial before Caesar. What's more, God will save the lives of all of those sailing with you. So take courage, for I believe God, we will be shipwrecked on an island. The storm blew until the ship was close to land, and the crew checked how deep the water was and found that it was getting shallower. Some of the sailors planned to abandon the ship and lower the lifeboats. But Paul said to the soldiers and the commanding officer, You will die unless everyone stays aboard. So the soldiers cut the ropes and let the lifeboat drift away. Now they were listening to what Paul had said. As darkness gave way to early morning light, Paul begged everyone to eat. You haven't eaten food for two weeks, he said. He gave thanks to God and they ate. He assured them, none of you will lose even one hair on your heads. The ship then hit a sandbar and became stuck. The bow of the ship wouldn't budge and the waves began to smash the ship apart. The soldiers wanted their commanding officers to let them kill the prisoners in case they swam ashore and escaped. But Julius wanted to spare Paul, so he refused. Then he ordered all who could swim to jump overboard and make for land, and the rest to hold on to planks and, and bits of things that had broken off the ship. All 276 people aboard made it safely to shore, just as God had promised. Wow, what a crazy boat ride that Paul had. Now, even though Paul had gone through some crazy times, God encouraged him by letting him know his plans to keep him and everyone else on board safe. Paul then encouraged his shipmates by letting them know what God had said through the angel. Now, when we face scary times like Paul did, it's easy to focus on our fears. But God is always with us and we can turn to him for encouragement. Then we can encourage others by sharing why we trust God. God is encouraging and we can encourage others. Let's pray. Lord God, I thank you that you do encourage us, especially in times when we're scared. I pray God that you would help us to be encouraging to others as well. In Jesus name I pray, amen. Well, that's it for School of the Rock today, and I hope you will join me again next week. This coming week, I want you to be looking for ways that you can encourage others. And remember, God loves you, and I do too.